you guys. I'm in my car getting ready to go to the airport and I'm running late, like scary late. So I gotta just go. I was supposed to leave at 3 o'clock and it's almost 3.30. Not good. I'll uh, talk to you at the airport. I am at the airport. I feel so sick to my stomach. I just don't do well with uh, maybe an hour and a half of sleep. And I was so worried. I'm like, please, please, please get sleepy. And then finally I start to get sleepy. And then I was like, shit, I'm going to have to get up in just a little bit. And for some reason, I guess I didn't have my alarm clock set right because I got up like maybe 20 minutes later than I wanted. And my alarm clock is just a wind up old alarm clock that we've had forever. But I like that. Um, and I started to worry because I dragged my feet a little bit, you know. I didn't have any coffee because I can't drink coffee with no sleep at all. I'll probably have one on the plane, though. I'm planning on sleeping on the plane. I brought my sweatshirt, but only because in case I need a blankie to cuddle up with on the plane to help me sleep. And I'm carrying on a pillow. So I was a little panicked. I was like, oh my god, I hope I don't get there late. However, there was no traffic at all, zero traffic, so I knew as long as nothing happened to my car that I would be okay. And there was no crowd, and plus I had the pre-TSA thingy, so I was able to just go right through security. Now I'm sitting here waiting. It's like almost 4.30. I expected to be here. I wanted to be here like at 4. But I did good time, and the plane is here, and I guess we're just going to be boarding soon because the flight leaves at 5.05. I'll show you the plane. I will try to record a little bit of the takeoff and landing. And I will talk to you again on the plane. I'm already bored. <laughs> I'm too sleepy to uh, like play a game on my iPad. I just want to get on the plane and try to snooze a little bit. But uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'd rather be doing anything than this. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I had to get up and leave the house. I was like, why? Why did I do this? Why did I change the plans? I was going to be leaving in the afternoon in the original trip. But I couldn't turn back now, and a lot of the comments I get are things about, like, oh, have a wonderful time, enjoy yourself. One even said, cut yourself some slack and relax. I replied to that one, and it was like, that to me is almost like a painful comment because my whole being is about not cutting slack and just doing what I absolutely love, which is to focus on just zoning in on work, whatever job I'm doing at the time, and obsessing with that. And I know it's just like a replacement from drinking. You know, the other one, I know this is going to sound horrible, but the other one is that I get a lot is just think of the memories you'll create. You're going to have such a a good time and I don't enjoy stuff I don't I'd rather just be working than doing anything always uh, I hate memories of any kind I don't like past memories well isn't that only how a memory can be in the past I don't have future memories I don't like good memories I don't like bad memories. I don't like memories. I don't even like knowing that I exist. Can you tell that I don't feel like going on this trip? I just don't. Do I want to see Derek and Skylar? Yes. Do I like that I have to exert myself to do that? Absolutely not. It's just all... Oh, and it's such a long trip. I don't know if I told you guys that I extended the trip also because of the return flight. See, I was originally flying out of Manchester and uh, because of the flights that I chose and the price. But now that I had to change flights, all the flights were outrageously priced because I was booking them the day before. So at that point, I just picked Portland. And so now I'm only coming back the Monday after Thanksgiving. So it's a long time to be out of my element. I feel a lot of pressure, like I should enjoy myself, I should 
like memories, but I don't. I don't really enjoy myself. I'm very good at just, you know, going along with it. And, you know, I know some commented too that I was scared. And, and for people who don't know me yet, I'm not afraid of the flying and the traveling. That doesn't bother me in the least. It's the, um, I'm just afraid that I'm not going to like any of it. <laughs> I'm scared that I'm going to get there and just be like, ugh. But you know, I usually get there and I do okay. One time I went through a depression while I was there. That was before I was eating meat. And um, it was quite miserable and very hard to get through. I just didn't, you know, I couldn't enjoy any of it. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to entertain Skylar or to act like I'm involved in the crafts we're doing or whatever when I just don't feel like doing it all the time. So it's not easy for me to just um, relax, chill, you know, cut the slack. It's not about that for me. I, I don't like to go toward that. I like to go toward just obsessing on work and zoning out in that and pretty much just pretending that the world doesn't exist. That's what I like. Oh, I just, I just feel, I feel yucky. I kind of regret now that I didn't bring some sandwich meat. I would have liked some roast beef because I only ate once yesterday. I haven't been eating as much because I just, you know, feel so just yuck because of everything that was going on and I only ate once and I didn't eat a lot because I kind of picked at it because I was busy with something else I can't remember oh with the booking the flights and all that so I picked at it and when I pick at it I don't eat enough so, so now I feel kind of like empty like I feel like I could eat but hopefully when I get on the plane I can just doze off and I'm sure I'll wake up feeling much better. Right now I feel like I have a hangover as I just didn't sleep. Why do people come right behind me? There's plenty of places to sit. I mean right, right behind me and he's standing there. I feel weird. I should go sit somewhere else. We're supposed to be boarding pretty soon, I think. I hope. I already hate this trip. <laughs> and I'm only, what, two hours into it. You gotta fucking be kidding me. When I looked at my boarding pass, it said 5.05. That's the boarding time. The flight is at 5.35. Can't believe I didn't see that. Well, it's a good thing because it got me here earlier. But boy, I would have liked to have known I could have slept another half hour. <laughs> the guy standing up behind me, I don't know if you can see him right now, but the cologne is so strong that it's like bothering me. And I like cologne, but it's like a strong cologne. And it's got like a sour smell to it. I don't like sour. <laughs> I don't know if that's a way to describe it. But let's just put it this way. He's got too much of it on. Watch, he'll sit right next to me. I'll fucking gag the whole flight. I hope things get better for me. The people behind me, there's like three guys that I think are together. And then there's a woman on the other side. They don't know each other. The women, they're all fucking chatting. And I can't stand small talk, even if I'm not involved in it. I know I am coming across like the biggest bench right now, and it's because I am. I just don't like stuff. I like to be quiet, even in a group on Facebook. You know, even just written words are loud to me. I find people are so incredibly boring especially strangers chatting with each other in an airport. What can they possibly have to say that is interesting? It's so incredibly boring and painful, and I just want to get on the plane. When the fuck am I getting on that plane? <sighs> I have to spend two nights 
in a room, in a hotel room with Derek and two kids. <laughs> Out of this trip. Oh my God, a road trip. I don't want a road trip. I like being in a vehicle, but now I just am petrified of accidents. You know, the, there's just too many texting drivers out in this world. I'm so tired of holding this camera. Ow! And uh, I think this is going to be a complaining trip, I can tell. I just feel like... Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to remind you before you carry on baggage process, tell us to get on the plane. You know, Anytime I turn the camera off, I completely forget what I was talking about. It's because everything I say is... Attention, Travel Delta is paging the following passenger back to the ticket account. Attention, Travel Delta is paging the following passenger back to the ticket account. What was I saying? <laughs> I forget what I say because it's not important. Attention, the terminal, attention, the terminal. Jesus we recently come through the security checkpoint. Folks, please check your belongings. You know, I often hear people chatting on a plane. I make it very clear when somebody sits next to me, I won't be chatty <laughs> because I will, you know, I'll acknowledge them if they want me to and uh, I just ignore. But I remember one time there was these three guys behind me, directly behind me, three strangers and the two on each end talked the entire trip and the one in the middle never said a word and the two on the ends were even like you know both turned in like looking at each other if I was that guy in the middle I would have had to get up and go somewhere else I mean I don't know if he had no choice but I would have been I would have been fit to be tied if I had to survive something like that but when I am on a plane I just try to remind myself this is a very tiny part of my life. I could be on a covered wagon and traveling for three months, but it's going to take me three hours. So I can pretty much put up with anything for that amount of time. But it, it's very interesting to me as to why complete strangers would want to talk. I don't want to fucking talk to people I know, let alone strangers. So we're starting to board. The plane is pretty full, and I have a body sitting next to me, but we have a seat between us. I will uh, record some of the takeoff and landing, like right behind the wing. We have to wait, they have to de-ice the plane. Hope that I can not make this whole trip a depressing string of videos. <laughs> So far it's been a rough start. I just don't feel good at all and I really do need some sleep. When I get to Memphis, of course I have to go and buy some meat. I'm gonna buy some roast beef. I want some right now. Derek has an appointment and then from that appointment he's going to... Is there a Tar Thomas Karka on board? You're not in trouble. I just want to say hi. Can wave Thomas Karka? No? Alright, thanks folks. Then he's going to get the kids after school. You can Jesus, that fucking scary me. So I can sleep today if I want to. I'll be alone in the house, with the apartment. But of course I'll be uploading and editing this. But I'm gonna need to sleep. I'm so tired. I think I will sleep on this plane. And store. I keep everybody entertained. here but I still have my sweatshirt just like I want to cuddle it. I have the air conditioner on. You have no clue how happy I am to have a pillow in fucking slumber heaven.
Baltimore. Getting your original seat to the local passengers of the plane. Once this is the final destination, go out, buckle up, be safe, be kind to one another, and come back and see us. Welcome to Baltimore. This isn't going well for me at all. I had a coffee on the plane and on my empty stomach and no sleep. It just made me feel worse. I hope that this day gets better. Well, it's bound to. The thing is, is that I can't sleep during the day. It just doesn't happen for me. I don't know. I'm gonna give it my best shot. Very anxious to just go to bed tonight and even more anxious to be home already. <laughs> <laughs> I have a long wait. All I want to do is just go somewhere with internet and just work, work on my blog, work on things, be in total quiet, no people. Isn't that awful? I feel like I should be looking forward to what other people say is what we should look forward to. You know, people want me to enjoy my family and it just makes me feel so guilty because I just <sighs> struggle with all of that. My biggest mistake was to look at comments last night before I, you know, tried to go to sleep and when I got up, you know, I just looked at comments before I turned the computer off and packed it and it just really got me down because it's full of uplifting things and those are the things I don't like about comments. I read what other people assume is what we're supposed to like and I just don't fit into that and I, it makes me feel horrible. It really does. So, um, I'm just going to go on my merry bitchy way and I'll talk to you in a little bit. My flight is going to be full. There are five seats empty, so that means not many of us are going to have an empty seat between us. This is the long leg of my trip. It's like a two and a half hour flight. That's when I like to be alone, or at least nobody in the middle. Normally, so much talking around here. Normally, I can play games on my iPad. But I don't feel well enough. I feel like it would make me air sick. You know, the motion sickness, because I just feel so queasy as it is. And I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep on the plane, and now I regret that I have this fucking pillow to carry around. And a stupid sweatshirt. Oh my god. I am not a happy girl. Can you tell? I looked at my phone I was actually going to try to read some comments just so I could depress us all <laughs> with all the kindness out there. <laughs> I was going to convince you that the kindness sucks. <laughs> so loud and I have people all around me. Um, yeah, I turned my phone on and I had no service so I couldn't do anything and I finally got service and I said well I'll start with Patreon and I have the app. And I hate apps. It took me forever just to figure out how to see comments. And then I just got fed up. I will do the uh, takeoff and landing again, assuming I get a window. I should be able to get one, I'm pretty sure. I hope. For some reason, I missed the boarding of the plane. I have no clue how I did that. I heard them call my name. And I go up to him like, it sounds like you called my name. I said, I have no clue why. She goes, because we're leaving. We need to board the plane. Just sitting right there. I must have zoned out. Wasn't paying attention. So now I was the last fucking person on this plane. And I had to sit with other people, two people. So there's three of us in one row. We're so pissed off. Oh my. Just one of those days. It's just getting worse. At least I got on the plane. And I'm right on the wing. So I won't even be able to show you the earth.
noticed that the woman right next to me has headphones on, so maybe she can't hear me. Maybe I can crank it up. Remember when I said I could stand anything for three hours? I was wrong. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a wonderful weekend ahead. Come back and see us again real soon. Welcome to Memphis.